What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, dealing with bad people not only hurts you, it hurts everybody around you. That's number one. Number two, if you are a bad person, congratulations, you get to attract bad people. And that is one of the key elements of today's show. Fresh and fit are bona fide liars who try to lie to their audience about telling the truth. Nothing about them is truthful or honest. However, this is what they try to push forward. Not realizing that when you're a liar, you attract what you are, liars. And we have found out that Daisy Fitchin indeed is a liar. Now I kind of figured that out, that some of the things she was saying did not make sense, but of course I couldn't prove it, but somebody did, Abba. Now, before I get to him, Daisy Fitchin says that, hey, I'm not keeping the baby. I don't believe that I should do so. She got an alleged abortion. I'm not even sure that she was even pregnant. I don't even know, okay? I have no idea about that. But here is what I do know, that she was trying to get Abba to clap her cheeks. Now, this is after she's went on to Abba and Preach's platform, had an interview. But here's what I can do. Let me play what Abba had to say about her, and then I'm going to come back. Well, here's the thing that was weird to me. Yeah, you know, homegirl's trying to flirt with me. She's like, yo, I know you want me. And I'm like, huh? She's like, I know it. You want me. Now, please download Snapchat. I'm like, nah, nah, I don't want no more apps. She's like, please do it for me. And she thought that shit was going to work. I was like, nah. And she's like, so why are you talking to me then? And I was like, listen, you just had an abortion. I just made sure you good. That's it. And you know, she's trying to lay it on thick. And I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm like, lady, why are you being so aggressive? It's not like we out here sharing every detail about our lives. Like, why are you trying to say something? This is weird. Like, let me get this straight. You just date one YouTuber, okay? It goes horribly. You get pregnant by him after you accelerate the whole process insanely fast. Then you thinking about going through an abortion, which you do end up doing and you lie about the timeline. And then with the person that was helping you to expose all these details, you trying to start some kind of illicit relationship. Huh? Huh? Listen here. I like to cover days of our lives, but I ain't trying to be in it. My name ain't Walter. I ain't from Barbados, I don't like coconuts, and I ain't into tricking. That's not for me. I want my personal life to be free of abortions, free of drama, baby mamas, and everything in between. I'm not down for that. Now, I think it's really weird that you trying to get back into anything that's even remotely close. So why are you trying so hard? And here's the thing, let's be honest. Let's be honest. A woman that looks like that and takes pictures like that ain't laying on thick with a nigga that look like me. I ain't saying I don't get it in. I ain't saying girls don't check for me. But a girl that, that look like that, that take pictures like that, ain't making no advances on me. Unless it's for that shmoney. No, we don't have to lie to ourselves. Don't get me wrong. I do get my DMs. They don't look like that. Okay? And I ain't a dreamy type. I ain't no MLK. I ain't no sleep. No American dream. No nothing. I live in reality. I date real normal people. Maybe they come not once. This girl done did it like two, three times. And I said, oh, I'm like, there's no way you're that person. We don't have any reason. So of course I'm suspicious. She claimed that she'd kept the kid. Turns out she'd already had the abortion about two weeks before. So she'd been lying to everybody, right? Because she ended up getting caught in a live stream drinking and everyone's like, wait, aren't you pregnant? And then she's like, oh no, I wasn't drinking alcohol. Then she had to walk her back and said, guys, I'm not keeping the kid. I just got the abortion. She'd already gotten it a while. That's why she was drinking all. She'd been lying, folks. She was lying about that portion. The day she went to go get them ultrasounds and all that stuff, by that point, apparently she'd already gotten it done. So of course, all of us gave information that was not true. And we did so not necessarily wanting to fool people or being malicious, but basically because of what the text message said, what Fresh and Fit said, his acknowledgement that he was you know, coming inside girls before. So it makes sense. But here is the worst part. It makes him look worse. Why? Because you're sleeping with a girl like that. How do you attract somebody like that? Because he is a person like that. That's why. And, and many of us or few of us fail to realize we are who we attract. Okay. And when you have created a full platform, when you have created a full platform like what they have talking about how you don't believe 
in dealing with women who are shady. You don't believe in dealing with OnlyFans models and you don't believe in dealing with 304s. Yet that's all you deal with. And then this person causes all these problems. And then look, she's trying to get him to download Snapchat so she can go ahead and bust it open for him. What does that say about you? That says that you haven't even developed yourself. And see, as a man, we, we fail to realize that a lot of the ladies we're trying to talk to are trying to deal with. We feel like because we have money, they really like us. No, they like what they can do for you. They're just trying to get with you because you have money. And then when you let them into your life, they're going to destroy you. Which is what she is trying to do with Abba. She just had a pregnancy scare with this guy. Now she's trying to get on with Abba, trying to destroy his life. But guess what? We would not even know her if Fresh wasn't such a jerk. If he wasn't so stupid, we would not even know who she is. But there, of course, there's no level of accountability. We know it. There's no level of accountability. We understand it. So they want to probably come out and say, oh, we told you guys, you guys are simps. No, bro. You were clapping the cheeks of somebody that anybody can get. How do you feel about that? You feel like you, you, you sound stupid. You are very stupid and you're silly as hell. Point blank. So guys, what do you think it should be? O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Subby Drunk. Put your fire, you do turn the bell, we're out.